Oh, hello. Hello there. We're back again. Og still sat here. <laughs> Don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. You can yeah. tell me later. Yeah. This is Rebel. Rebel runs this game. He pretends that he doesn't know what he's doing, but that's yeah. a lie. Yeah. Right, so you ready to go over there, Popter? Popter. Ready? So in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Woo. Welcome to now loading the video game. Yep, I'm skipping cutscenes right now. Any loading screen which is black with now loading is a cutscene. Uh, it, it when it when it's got the map screen here, that was a really long load. <laughs> this, this this game is not a bad game. If they remove the loading screens, the loading screens are what make this a bad game. Yeah. So. Uh, but we're playing this on the better version, the Xbox version, because the PlayStation Three is even worse. Yeah. Wait, do we have game audio? We don't have game audio. Can we have game audio? Okay, we're not like game audio apparently. Sorry, guys. I mean, hold on. I can I can fix this if I just load up the Sonic 06 soundtrack on my phone here. Uh, we can then play that through the microphone. That works, right? Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, go for it. Do what you need to do. In the little middle bit. I'm just talking to a dude. It's fine. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. I, I'll 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 show you what the dude says. He he just comes and goes. Okay. Hey. Are we yeah, yes. yeah yeah yeah. Go. Go. There's another one right right afterwards. Come on, come on. Speed load. <laughs> hey, there we go. I there we a, go. I heard, I heard the one note that the audio came back. This is now spliced because it yeah, disappeared and came back. Do, we'll just do car sounds with their mouth. The song. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah. That works. <laughs> Wait, when was Sonic a car? So I'm doing Superman 64 right now. That's go. terrible. Oh god. I can't ring though, so you know. Superman 64. That's a game. Um, Can you nail it? Here we go. Hardest trick in the game. Hey, easy every time. Easy every time. 15 15. That's not bad, to be honest. Like no. 15, like mid 15 to sub 15 is pretty, it's pretty good. Sub 15 or bust. Oh, 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 oh. Can these NPCs have the greatest sounds? Like, hey. too, too many to speak to guy. Hey, hey. Her. That was incredible. That was incredible. I'm glad we have audio now because this game I not know. only has great voice acting, it has a great soundtrack as well. Oh, the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. Like Kingdom Valley. Oh, I hate the fact that, that we don't skip. I, the stage sucks. The but stage the is garbage. Is absolute great. trash. The soundtrack is phenomenal. Game audio is a tad too quiet. Eh? Our tech are on it. Don't worry about there, it. Yeah, don't worry. Good. It was kind of a bit. They're, of a they're, they're there. Her. See, I'm, I'm, right, do you know what? Every time we hear it, chat, we just need you to go. Her. So I'm buying the light speed dash there, and I'm going to use it to go over here. Oh no, it's like gated progression. Whatever oh, no. we do. You can skip over there by launching yourself in a barrel, but it's not oh. faster than grabbing the light speed shoes. Because you need them anyway later on in the game, so yeah. you have to grab them at some point. Hey, hey. Right, hopefully I can get I'm this gonna, trick. I'm going to shout at Pazzy. Oi, Pazzy. We need a little bit more game audio, please. On the stream side, apparently. There you go. See, if you shout attack, apparently it works. Alright, let's see if I can actually get this. I'm gonna hurry and save a leaf. But I'm gonna do a glitch first. So we knock this wall down. And then he's gonna go over here, position a jump, do this weird animation thing that's just gonna launch him halfway through the level. Nope, didn't do it. Nope, oh. I did the wrong time. I got that the time. Hey. There you go. Oh, oh, I went too high! Too far. No! So what happened there was my position was too low on the uh, thing. I'll go for it once more and then... I'm gonna hurry and save the leaves. I gotta do it again. I love it. I still have no idea how this thing works. It looks cool when you do it though. Okay. I can try and explain it in a second, but I gotta do it first. Uh, time was at the wrong position. We're going to run, we're going to jump. Oh, my position is just so wrong. One, two, three. You know what, I'm just going to do wave ocean like normally. I'm going to have to go back up here and go back down again now. Just, just you're going to do it normally, like right, casually running up the start level again. Yeah, no, I'm, that's fine. Yeah, no. So, so, what, so what is that? Basically, um, ba basically, you can position yourself on the right side of the... Uh, loop and then you can homing attack on the first frame and miss it and what that does is it forces you to fly into the distance. Ah, so it's a dodgy homing attack. Oh, I didn't get what I wanted to get here. So I can actually kind of like, you can fly into this second bit of uh... Like that! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to hurry and save Elise! 
Not what he wanted, but it happened anyway. We're doing it live. Oh my god. We're doing it live. Sonic was six, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, it's a good game. You should run it, it's fun. And that's not a meme. Like, I'm not memeing. It's a genuinely, it's a fun game. So if I hit this right speed pad, I fly yeah. past it and then I do that. There you go. Don't know why I'm the first time. Neither do I, and then I'm just going to go around here, around here. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> every, like, literally, Wave Ocean is like the meme stage for me at every UKSG where everything goes wrong every time. Don't blame me. Don't blame us for this. This isn't UKSG's fault. Oh, no, I'm not. It's like, <laughs> this, this environment apparently just isn't good for this run. Oh. So if I did the skip right, I would have ended up here. Um, not bonking into the wall, but I would have ended up here. I would end up in this door here at about 30, about 20-ish sec seconds. Obviously, I, I didn't get that, but you know. A spin dash. So spin dash is actually the fastest form of movement in this run. Um, and yeah, you can use it to go very, very fast. There's not even we get later in the game, but it's that makes you go fast than that. But it's not as effective as spin dash because you have less control. Yeah, so hopefully I get tail skip this time. Yeah. Because last time I thought it twice I was here. You did. I'm, I'm going to fail it again now. No, you can't say that. Third time's the charm, buddy. Jump! Jump! I'll think about it. Yeah. Right, so hopefully I get this because... So I'm going to try and do a little trick of tails where I extend my uh, light. Um, but if I get... But if I get capped, then I can't do it, so... One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go, I got it. There you go. So even though he was landing on the what looks like to be the shallow part of the water, uh, Tails unfortunately can still drown on those areas. Yeah, uh, basically the floor doesn't exist in a lot of that areas and you can just fall straight through it and die. So next we're coming into a Mug Speed and these are pretty fun in the speedrun actu actu Mug actually. Mug Speed is the best thing about this game. Honestly. Like, they are so good. Yeah, so we're not gonna make it. And that egg carrier is spectacular. So like the way Mug Speeds work is you have three speed tiers here on one up. You have basically three uh, speed tiers. You have uh, your first tier, your second tier, and there's a kind of a glitch third tier that you can do, where when you ring dash without holding a direction, you go a little bit faster. And then by holding forward at the end of the ring dash, you get to uh, main maintain a bit of that speed for a little bit. What? Yeah, exactly. So, what? Oh, I did that. To... Oh, thank you again. That's speed one tier. There you go. One, two, three. I'm going to get a hit here to finish with as little rings as possible. Because we don't want no S ranks. Yep, no S ranks. Uh, the reason why we want to skip S ranks is because it gives us a metal animation at the end of the uh, stage, which wastes about four and a half seconds. seconds. I'm not going to go for the jump because I will probably die. I mean, based on how the start went, nah, you're fine. So you can jump off the edge of that there. You can't do it from the position I was at because I was in the middle. You have to be at like the far left to do it. So yeah, so that was. <laughs> that was the worst wave ocean I've had in a very long time Too because A, I no failed to trick twice. Yeah, then, give uh, a clap for the woo! worst wave ocean he's ever done. Woo! Yeah. Best audience ever. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, they, here are these annoying gold medal screens. Unfortunately, if you get S ranks, you get two of them because that's just amazing. Yay. Yay. And I'm saving as well because, you know. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Marathon safety. I'm Marathon saving safety, every time. dude. Saving all the time. Th th this game is uh, absolutely fantastic when you game over because it takes you straight back out to the menu with no autosave. So if you've not saved, then yeah, have fun. Yeah. I've found that out the hard way. <laughs> I was learning this like just casually for fun and then it's like, oh yeah, you're back at the start now. What? Yep. It's like, wait to ruin it. Yep, but and during loading screens, you can actually buffer input. So during that loading screen, I'm, oh my god, I'm buffering a spin dash. The camera likes to Remember, bug out audience, there. every time we speak to an NPC, we want to see her. See, they're going to do it. We want to see you guys doing it in chat as well. So I'm trying to home attack the frame will hit the floor. Through the wall. So it's collision, it's a thing. There, there go. we go. It's a little bit finicky to do, but it is like a frame of. Uh, perfect, so you don't always like get it like first try. It's, it's very precise. So what he's doing here is uh, he's actually hit the loading trigger for the next stage, Dusty Desert, but the game can't take you in there until you've actually done the mission and progressed the story. So now we're going to go out and progress the story. But we're not going to need to go back in and do the wave, uh, the wave ocean. The... No, I can't remember the level's name. God damn it. I just said it a second ago. It's Dusty Desert. Dusty Desert, yeah. Oh my god, I'm at the wrong position. You're going to end up in there eventually once you get through the room. 
Do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, go ahead. All right. We have $20 from Matt Harris saying, Sonic 06 making things a mess? Who would have guessed? Hope the rest of the marathon goes well. We also have $5 from Majitsu saying, Can you tell me whose Iron Brew that is sitting on the couch? What? Whose Iron Brew that is sitting on the couch behind you? If no one claims that it, it's mine. Okay. Fair enough. So I guess it's our gigs then. <laughs> Thank you for, for your donations. Now the problem we've got here is this is literally the only way out. I just can't get it. No. There you go. Hey! For sake. I have to go back in. Don't worry about it. Oh. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. So on, of course, it says a glitchy mess. There you go. Hey! And now, with the glitchy mess. I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm I, I legitimately lost, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, two minutes there, dude. Oh, that was not okay. I can't. She can't be sad. We have brew. Like, somebody's just literally handed me a bottle of iron brew here. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? All right, so this is Egg Cerberus. Egg Cerberus has four pans that he can give me. It's RNG, which one he gives me. Um, hopefully, he gives me one I can do something about. If not, I'm going to lose time again. No, we'll be fine. Give you something that you can do something about. Also, I, I am brew making pet, an angry huh? Scots woman. No, no, it, it doesn't. Like, this prevents him. the anger. This is, this is what prevents anger. So this starting over because that pattern huh? was garbage. Okay, Eggman. I'll play with him. I'll play with him. And once I've gotten the horn, I can make him run into this. You want to make him run into the statues? Because statues do two face. damage instead of one. No, my turn. So you can two cycle this guy instead of four cycle. So I need to go over here, and then he's going to try and turn around. Listen and then I need to force him into the... That thing there? Cool. That was actually very, very solid, solid af yep. after I got it. That was good. That was good. Yeah. So he gave me the wrong pattern the first time around, which is nothing, nothing that you can do about it. So now... Yeah. Right, so we've actually got... We're nearly at the end of the worst part of Sonic's run. Like, the worst part of what, Sonic's the run... The, the, the <laughs> first 10 minutes of this run is the, the, worst, is the part worst part of this run. Because you have Wave Ocean Skip... Two frame per, like three frame perfect skips. You gotta do that. And oh yeah, this is what happens when like I'm getting double. a Double. But you always get an extra. You rank always get a double here because the boss is just like you, yeah. you really have to take your time on the bosses. It's not worth it. Yeah. You lose too much time because that. What has Link boss got on the laptop? Ah, I should not have looked. You <laughs> should not have looked either. <laughs> it's a blue Ugandan knuckle. Right. So this is dusty desert. Uh, this is the first level where we get to carry our dear Elise, and she gives Elise. Sonic an incredibly oh, broken ability. The shield. The shield. So this is quicksand, and she gives us the ability to walk on it. So we're meant to do a bunch, a bunch of parts of a level, but we can just kind of bypass it by just holding the shield and just running over it. So uh, here I hold forward and I skip over this bit of sand. And as long as you are uh, running and not holding the shield, the shield's gauge will recharge. Yep, and then I'm gonna hold the shield again and cut across a massive corner again. There's like about a minute and a half a level to the right of me that you're meant to do, but you know, you can just kind of allow it completely. You go over here. Also, this is another good song as well. Again, uh, like, I think the only song that I'm not too keen on in this game is like The Forest. And the credits. Uh, I mean, I don't like. What's what's the credits? The really really bad song. <laughs> exactly. What's the credits? Exactly. <laughs> so that so going up here like this skips a lot of this stage. So you know, I'm gonna take damage here to skip the Esterang, kill the robot. Well, hopefully this goes well because if this doesn't, I lose a minute. Nice. There you go. Then you don't hold a direction. You only go faster. So because you know every every single speed pad in this uh, works very very differently. Something else. Yes. Uh, I'm playing on the 360 version because the 360 version is the fastest because it doesn't lag. You can skip saving, but also you can install the game. To reduce the loading times. To reduce times. the loading times. By PlayStation takes so long to load. Like, I first played this game on PlayStation 3, and I was like, the PlayStation 3 is not that bad. And then you we played... timed the difference, and my God, the PlayStation is terrible. Yep. Don't play PlayStation 3. Not even casually. Get an Xbox. Oh, this game you can't play on Xbox One. Not yet. Maybe soon. Not yet. Maybe soon. But maybe you can't Xbox, play it right now. Maybe Xbox Project X will get it. 
Can't play it right. You cannot do it right now. Oh, I right, always forget go. about this yeah, fight. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So everybody knows the meme that about Silver here, but I finally looked into the lore of this, and I understand now why Silver's actually fighting in this area. So it's a so it's like it's a it's a cafe area. He's only mad because there's no juice. So yeah, I'm just gonna bait him to jump into the air and then homing attack him because he can't grab you when when he's in the air. So you just keep looping him like this. And we're not even gonna get him here because he's me. Oh god. Oh god. It's fine, don't worry about it. He's gonna launch me back and I'm gonna take some dam on my damage here. Ah, uh, he's caught you again though. Oh no he hasn't. There, there we go. go. So no. basically I mis I miscounted my hits because I thought he was dead. <laughs> But thank you for giving us this new year. Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for the memes. Yeah, yeah I gave you a meme. Usually you end that in 25.633. Uh, uh, that was incredible. But I, but I missed my hits because I was too busy laughing at the meme. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was too busy memeing. Too busy memeing. Vibing. As, as we do, yeah. Vibing. Vibe, vibing. <laughs> vibe check. I was too busy vibing. <laughs> the vibe check. What's that? Vibe check? <laughs> vibe check? Vibe check. Thanks for the face palms. I appreciate it. We'll May see. I uh, talk about one of our incentives yes, coming up? Of course. All right. So we have the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice incentive where you get to choose the language that will be played during that run. Currently in the lead, we have Japanese with $40. French is second with $24. I'm sure the Frenchies amongst you in chat will want to see that win. And then in third place with $15, it's English. So the boring one. Uh, German, Italian, and Spanish are also options, but they don't have any money on them. So if any of those languages tickle your fancy, you can donate to see those happen. Paul, sir, who's the captain? Who's the captain? This is the captain mi mission where you have to decide who the captain is. I'm afraid I do not know who the captain is. All right. Don't worry about it. I'll show you who, th I will show you who the captain, in fact, is. Now, remember here, that was select mission, <coughs> loading screen. Speak to man, loading screen. Now it's going to be do the mission, loading screen. He was the captain all along. There we go. The captain has been uh, identified. Identified. That was he's, the, he's the captain, but he doesn't tell you until you go around fighting all the guys going, are you the captain? No, are you and the captain? And if you get it wrong, I think it... Uh, you you, you, you actually mission. failed the mission. <laughs> I think. I've never failed it, like... Once I started speed speed running, am I done years ago? I, ca I can't remember. I can't remember what happens, honestly. Also, chat, you failed. You were supposed to say "hey" at least three Sorry, times can there. You me? Knuckles wants to. Knuckles wants to see you. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I got that spin dash movement. Then I was in such a jank position. Ooh. Right, so I'm gonna hold a spin dash during the loading screen again, which is just hold square. You can buffer inputs during loading screens in this game. So I and the first thing I'm I'm gonna do in this is uh doing the. Building clips I did earlier before going into Dusty Desert, the frame perfect ones, is to skip an upgrade. But I'm just going to grab the upgrade now anyway because it's faster. And he grab. So we skip the upgrade to grab it just a little bit later where it's a bit more convenient to grab it. So I'm spin dashing then spin kicking when my spin dash has basically run out of its uh, speed. So then I can refresh my spin dash. And when you kick, you can instantly go at full speed out of uh, your spin dash. So this is another mission battle at the warehouse. So first thing I'm going to do is charge my spin dash. I'm going to hit a box, then I'm going to jump out of my spin dash, which I'll, I'll actually explain that in a minute because <laughs> that's actually something that you can't do casually. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go kill that guy. Oh, then you kill those guys. You get good music as well. Don't worry about it. And this is the anti grab. Go around the back here. Uh, you you attack these ones from underneath, so you don't target the little drones around them. Target the red guys. And when you do a homing attack, if you hold a, if you hold jump afterwards, you go a little bit uh, higher, so we could use that to get up here. And also, anti grab has an iframe, so you can just get inside a hitbox and do that. Anti grab's okay. Anti grab's pretty good. There's a robot hit. Oh god. That's a robot hit. That hit me, now I don't have any rings, this is now a scary mission. mission. Yeah, the, uh, the little Gatling turrets here that some of the robots use, they don't actually knock you back, like taking a hit, but every Gatling bullet does one ring of damage. If you have no rings, it'll kill you. I picked up a ring there, so I didn't die. <laughs> and there's two robots here, there's one there. Where is this guy? There he is. Oh, he's doing the charge tag. When they're doing the charge tag, they can't be here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Goodbye, robot. We hardly knew you. Salute to the robot. That was incredible. Yeah, just go on. Oh yeah. Also, there's a loading screen here. Um, I'm going to mash jump about now. I'm going to mash jump, and then I'm going to mash start right after it. And it's because you can home attack straight into a cutscene, then skip it on the first frame. <laughs> so there's a cutscene that plays there, so you get like a second of gameplay, and then uh, and then uh, you get another loading screen because you know that's what this game loves to do. So next, I'm going to go do another mission, which uh, which lets me into the next major stage, which is the White Acropolis. So I'm going to do a bit more spin dash movement here. Um, I'm going to try uh, chain them together. So basically, over time, your spin dash will kind of lose a little bit of speed. So you spin kick out of it to maintain speed, and when you spin kick, you can you can refresh your uh, your spin dash like straight away. And something I did do before I at the start of the last mission is I jumped out of my uh, spin dash. Usually in this game, you can't jump out of spin dash, but if you cancel a spin kick into a jump during spin dash, you can jump out. You can jump out of a spin dash, but you got to do it really, really fast. Otherwise, it doesn't work. All right, so at the start of this mission, there's three enemies that spawn in front of me, then there's a, then there's a group that spawns off to the right, and then they spawn back at the beginning again. So I'm going to grab these. Uh, and then that blows them up. Kill them. My homemade tank's pretty slow. Find one. Can we go to the next level yet? Oh, it's fine. We're going to the next level yeah. in a second, all right? Okay. God damn it, Ark. You know the route for this game. I do, but can we go to the level? We're about to go to the level, all right? Jeez. And what are you going to do in the level? You're going to skip half the dang level. Yeah, I am, and I'm going to snowboard. Because it's quite a crop Yeah, I'm going to snowboard as well. Teach me how to do fast snowboard, because I don't know. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know fully either. I know where to jump for the first one, but then the second one is like big brain. Like, Sharu speed is like too big brain for me. All oh, right, okay. I can do like the first uh, speed cap, so I'm gonna try and do a glitch in this one that removes the speed cap on the uh, on the uh, snowboard and lets me go really, really fast. Um, there's a second one that you can go for called Sharu speed because a Japanese runner called Sharu found it. Um, which basically, if you, there's a ramp up on a ledge, but the radius that the ramp works is really, really large, so you can abuse that to uh, to uh, get another speed uh, speed cap. Oh, please. So the way the speed caps work is um, uh, the way well the way you break the speed cap is by getting a jump and then the game pulls you back down to a ramp. So hopefully I get it here. I might not. But I got it. Oh. And there's another one you can go for there, but you have to get interrupted, and I'd suck at it. And also I don't want to try and do Sharu speed when I haven't 100 percent pra practiced it. But I'm going probably. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, that's fine, don't worry about it. I wasn't holding hard enough left. Hard left there, mate. Hard left. Let's go left here. Then the control switch on me about halfway through. I'm trying to stick to the right a little bit here so I don't get stuck on a rock and get... Uh, if, if you go up that ramp, you actually lose like most of your speed. The camera switches again on you here, so I have to hold forward. And I've been charging a jump this whole time. I'm just going to use it there. Yeah. <coughs> Watch out, you're gonna crash. If you get Shari speed, you don't have to do that jump and you save about five seconds from that jump because you can just fly off the ledge. Shari speed makes that jump like doable without actually doing a jump. Nice. When you only get the first one, you have to do a, you have to do a little jump and lose a bit of time. So, you're meant to play as Tails in this, this stage and do a bunch cool of stuff, but I'm just gonna go for these place. lasers. Nice, first try. First try, dude, first let's try. go. <laughs> Through the lasers there. We're not entirely sure how that works, but each laser has their own hitbox, and you kind of just like squeeze yourself through two of them, like in the middle, and then you skip like oh, most look, of the end stage. Of level. Yeah, there's, a, yeah, there's <laughs> the end of the stage. So good. The thing is, Rebel made that look easy there, because even though his homing it's attack got easy. through the lasers, no you still have to control the homing attack, otherwise you just fall into the Yeah, you, the you other have side. to homing attack, then hold back as soon as, like, do like, it. back out, no. Regardless of if you get it or not, you have to hold back, because otherwise you just, like, through it. And then the game kind of takes away your inputs some, uh, sometimes, and then you will just fall into ledges. All right, now we're getting into the future bit now. The future? The future. The future. The future. What's in the future? Uh, Crisis City. Yes. 
Good song. We get a good song for a little bit. Uh, yeah. After like three cutscenes. Oh. There you go. That's Crisis City. Find the database. Yeah, dude. I can't show the best cutscene because I'm not playing the silver. No. Which one's the best ones? That when it gets bodied. Yeah, the one where he gets kicked in the head. <laughs> That's the best cutscene in this game. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. The whole city's on fire. The whole city's on fire. Yeah. Is it? Dodgy railings. Those railings suck. Yep. Alright, so there's a speed cap thing you can go for here. I tend to miss it a lot. I didn't get it there. I did my jump a little bit too late. So you have to, like, release your jump at, like, exactly the right time there to get it. So I'll lose a bit, a bit of time here, but it's not too bad. It's, like, 10 seconds or so. So yeah, you just kind of go through this a little bit, kind of casually. Just make sure you don't die. I try and collect as many rings as possible and try not to get hit, so I'm going to try and collect a 1-up. So I can actually, you know, not game over, because that would be kind of embarrassing, but you know. The beginning of the game kind of bodies me a bit. Just a bit. Right, so I'm nearly at the end of this bit. Lovely. Thank Loving you. the lag. Do the lag. A fun fact about the lag, though. The lag in this game actually lags the IGT as well. Oh, God. Nice. Straight up the ramp. Straight up the ramp. All right, cool. So, now at the start of this bit, I'm going to do the same thing I did in uh, another stage and just skip most of a uh, chunk of this Big of, uh, this level. We're going to ride the rails We're going to nah. ride the rails. Nah, we ain't doing that, dude. What's this rail shenanigans? Yep, so after I've collected all the rings on this grind rail, I'm going to jump off. There's a rail down that I'm gonna try and land on. Bang! There we go. I left my, I, I kept my homing attack in case I missed that, so I just homing attack onto it. Hopefully, I'm gonna get 06 here. No, I'm not gonna get 06. You can get like in in this game when you get a burst of speed and you're in a straight line, you can't really turn. So you can get hit off that speed pad at a really really bad angle and then fly straight off the ledge without without hitting the spring. Oh, I didn't mean to get the silver medal. There we go. There's your light. Yeah. Double hit, one, two. Okay. okay. Then if you jump here and hold up right, you can home attack onto that nice. grind rail. And the reason why we need to do the movement like that is because if you go anywhere else, it, it um it spawns enemies, so it makes it really, really hard to do that movement. Hopefully I don't bonk on the wall here. I didn't bonk. Hey. You, you can bonk on the wall before that spring and lose all your speed. Oh, so this part is, uh, as Revel was saying there, when you get a bunch of speed during a straight line. You never grab those first set of rings because you're never in line for them. And yep. there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. I'm gonna spin dash down here. I'm gonna try and get up there. That's fine, I hit invisible wall there, that's fine. I'll go over there. There you go, I hit it without breaking the box. <laughs> yeah, there's another silver medal. Hell yeah. Very right, cool. Get, you get two more. I'm also not holding the any buttons on the controller right now. This is like automated as hell. Oh and it lags there as well. Yeah, but that's for like cool cinematic effect. That's intended lag. <laughs> no, no buttons. Look, man, no hands. No hands. No hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna spin dash. Oh, I didn't mean to homing attack like that guy. I have to wait now because I homing attacked at the wrong time. That's fine. There we go. Luckily, this one's going to be coming down now. Oh, nice. I didn't mean to do that. No. <laughs> no. I didn't actually know that thing was solid. It is, and it's because there's an entire bit to the side. I don't know why, but I've been homing attacking it. Like, since coming back to this game. Because kind of like, you can. My homing attacks are really slow. For some reason, I'm just not doing them fast. You can do your homing attacks a lot, like, faster. But for some reason, my fingers just being really, really bad. Well, speaking of fast. Speaking of speed. Mark speed. Right, so in my opinion, this is the worst mark speed in the game. Oh, Would yes. you agree? Oh, yes. And for one reason. So, so I am going to be running away from a tornado, and this tornado locks cars at you based on the physics engine of the game, so they can go pretty much anywhere. And every single piece that flies off of this car uh, can hit you. And in mark speed sections, if you get hit, you lose all your rings, and you get hit again, and you die. And when you jump, you you are going in the direction that you jumped in. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Where's the ring? There's the ring. So yeah, every piece of debris will hit you, and it's painful. Oh, oh and, it's lag. and nice. it lags, and it lags, and it lags. 
So like the wheels and the debris from the car and the, like the, the boxes, the, and the, the boxes, everything. And... Oh my god, it's just absolutely abysmal. And the, the the thing is, like, the thing that makes us all really bad, as you said there, is when you jump, you're committed. Like you've hit the button, that's it. I hit go of the control controller because I was like, my line was straight, and I was like, nothing's gonna hit me here, so I'm not gonna move. No, I, but I th also, I, th I got hit right at the end, which, I, which means I get to skip the S rank. Nice. Too easy. No, I, I think sweat. the I think the worst stage for max speed in general is this one. But when it comes to the whole jumping thing in max speed, radical train is so much worse. Oh, radical train's absolutely <laughs> abysmal for that. Like, ra oh. Radical train, I'm gonna jump. Oh no. Right. So next, we get thrown straight into another stage. Link boss, you're having way too much fun, buddy. <laughs> J just putting that out there, okay? Yeah, dude. We put Sonic 06 on your Sonic 06, so you can watch Sonic 06 while you Sonic 06. How many 06s can we get in one 06 stream? I do not know the answer to that question, but in the meantime, can I talk a little bit about our charity? Yeah, sure. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, we're raising money to support Young Minds, a charity leading the fight for a future where all young minds are supported and empowered, whatever the challenge is. Your donations help them to make sure young people get the best possible mental health support and have the resilience to overcome life's difficulties. Recent survey from Young Minds found that on average, three students in every classroom have some kind of mental health issue, so all your donations will be going to helping out children that need it to help them get the best education they can. And on behalf of me and everyone else here, uh, thank you all for donating and supporting such an incredible cause. Back to you guys. Cool. So at the start of level though, I skipped like half the first bit of the stage by just uh, homing and tanking over a barrier, which shouldn't, shouldn't do. Then I just go through that door, which skips killing all the enemies. And also this stage block. This, uh, this is like a bang for this one. This that that guitar riff is just on point. Right, and as soon as that spring is off screen, you can hit it. Because, you know, that makes sense. Usually I grab it, but I'm actually going to grab this one up. If I don't get a hit, I'm like an idiot. Someone's saying we need Sonic versus Dragon yeah. Planet. No, we don't. They're both great games. Play them both. Yeah, no, they're both great. I'm taking this bit kind of slow because I messed up. Usually I go in the lava and just spin dash through it all, but I didn't have enough rings to do it from where I wanted to do it, so... Yeah, th this game, it's very, very lenient with its invincibility frames, like when you hit. They last forever. Yep. Um, we take advantage of them, like, pretty much any time we can. Yep. Pretty much any time you can, you take advantage of anything in this game. So I can't clip through this door, so I'm just killing the enemies. Cool. I'm over this door now. You can't click through that door either. So you have yeah, to it's only the first door you can do it. It's raining fire. It's raining fire. So I've used my frames there to go down here. So the volcano's spewing rocks at us. All of them are falling randomly, according to the physics engine. Any, like any of them can hit you. What's happened to the volcano? Even now. Yep. Nailed it. You can get hit during that bit. You get hit and you just fall straight down and die. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. You just get owned. Right, so the third bit of flame core now. So we're gonna go over here. Here we're gonna jump on this box. We're gonna go up here. Homing attack. That's skipped half the uh, this bit as well. Yes. So we're gonna grab the invincibility, and I'm gonna try and do a clip here. I might not get it because I'm very interested at it. I didn't get it. It's fine. I just take the I just take the L. So if so, if you get it, you can carry the invincibility to the end of this next room. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, thank you, I got caught. Thank you, game. It's fine. So dark, and so dark, and spooky. Right, so I'm going to use my iframes again. Going to get a hit here. Take, uh, take a step forward because uh, when you get a hit, your speed cap gets set. Oh, I tried to do a clip there to go through the, the door like a second earlier. So I'm gonna oh, hit that. Now I'm gonna go down here. So this kind of this route Knuckles. skips straight into Knuckles' bit. I'll take care of it. So now Knuckles is gonna finish this bit for us. Usually you go around and hit a bunch of lights to light up the room for Sonic, and then uh, and then uh, Sonic's like thank you, and then he finishes the stage. But you can just kind of go here as Knuckles, go out of bounds, light up the room, and then fly over everything. Oh, I didn't get the... Thank you, I did get it. 
Oh. And then I can die. The game don't really you care. Killed Knuckle. I killed Knuckle. Like not this. a ways to go. Not like this. Oh shoot! Not what a way to go. He did right. So that was uh, Flame Core. So now the game throws me straight into a boss fight with uh, so. Iblis. Oh no, it's Iblis. It's Iblis phase two. I Iblis. hate this fight. I hate Iblis. I hate Iblis this fight. sucks. This fight is horrible. All and forms of Iblis suck. This fight is horrible and. I just pray that I don't die to it's something stupid. It's like auto-scroller, but not auto-scroller. You can speed it up, but you've got to do really, really risky things to, to uh, speed it up. He's a lava like, snake. Like this. He's a lava worm snake. Thing. So now I sit here. But he likes shiny lights, so he's a magpie. Yep. Now I sit here and wait for him to come to me. Is there some way to here, come in? Here, Come here, yeah, yeah, basically. So he goes through a cycle of attacks. This first one takes forever. The next two, he basically runs at you as soon as you're here. So he's going to look at me for a second. Now he's going to come at me. So I'm going to count this on, make sure I don't die. One, two, three. There you go. Poke him in the eye. Poke him in the eye. And that one is not as bad because you have rings. The next two hits I'm going to go for, I'm not going to have rings. So I have to abuse the iframes of the uh, spin kick. And if I miss time, I die. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, so this, this, this spin kick here is good for the invincibility timing. One, two, three. Oh, no. Sonicu. 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 Japanese Amy right there. Yep. So, sadly with this fight, right, I'm doing it really, really fast, right? So you're meant to like sit here for like five minutes, like waiting for this guy to do stuff. Uh, this fight's supposed to like casually take like forever. Uh, one, two, three. So the final hit, thankfully I don't have to do anything risky because this final phase is set. So I can just kind of sit around and wait for him to do stuff. If you need any, if you need to add anything, Paul, go, go right ahead. Uh, look behind you. What's he doing now? Well. Oh, no, not Big Bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, while they're freaking out about that, I would like to thank you all for watching the United Kingdom Speedrunner Gathering. We are a two-day speedrunning marathon held four times a year. We're coming to you live from Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, I would like to plug, continue plugging our incentive. The one last incentive we have for Sekiro. Uh, Japanese, still in the lead with 40. Uh, French people at 24. We then have English at 15, and again, German, Italian, and Spanish at $0. No changes there, uh, but I trust that we will soon have some. Uh, so get those donations in while you can, because I'm sure somebody out there wants to see some other language than Japanese have a time on the spotlight. So at your own leisure, get your donations in. Days from the right, impact. someone mentioned glitch percent. It's not actually called glitch percent. So the category I'm doing is no mission select glitch. Uh, which this game has a has a credit swap, and that's what MSG is. It's a credit swap. So this so the category I'm doing is playing the whole of Sonic Story without incredible. I'm skipping to the credits. If you play MSG in this game, you can skip from the beginning bit after Egg Cerberus straight 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 into the credits. Yeah. So it's a much shorter category, but it's also not as fun to show off. You miss a lot of good levels, a lot of yeah. good tech. So. Is that, it, like, honestly, it is a fun glitch because the game has no idea what to do and just goes... Uh -huh. throw I took you the credits. Well, that's its safe zone, actually. The reason why it throws you into the credits what is, is it because Sonic it's... Sonic games and having, like, credits or level selects as their safe spaces. Like, yeah. Sonic 3D Blast. I'm going to... I was like, error. Oh, I'm going to take you to the super secret level select screen. Congratulations. So <laughs> like, what the heck? Yeah... So this basically you get to see more and more of the game. Uh, Shadows MSG runs actually probably one of the better ones because you get because you only skip two two parts of Shadows one. So you know you actually get like to see a lot of sh Shadows run but, uh, before the skip actually takes place. Smooth, well done. So good, I'm good buying the, oh there. God. I'm buying the bounce bracelet which I just used there. So that just gives me the uh, bounce, the bound attack, whatever it's called. Boing, boing, boing. The boing. So uh, somebody's asking a very important question. Can you do a glitchless Sonic of Six run? Um, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a yikes from me. <laughs> that's a that's a hard no. I'll give it a try. I'll try glitchless. 
I'll be real. Most of these stages are actually glitches. No, they are. They are actually like, glitches. Like if there's a glitch that happens, it's totally unintentional. Yeah, there's like there's like clips and stuff. You can just like this stage here, the speedrun route I take. You can just not do half the stuff I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So I'm doing that one because uh, this is the faster route, but also I wanted to grab the one up. So I have to hit the switch here. Then there's a loop here. This loop's a bit of a nightmare. Uh, if you hit the speed pad at the wrong angle, you just fall, you just fall off the ledge and die. Across uh, the scale. Across the scale. Okay. Hope I get there. So by holding jump, I can go up here. Then I can running attack that guy. Then oh, I'm good. Why are you gonna fall back down? Really? It changed directions yep. on me. Yes, it, right at the end too. It Dude. saw you coming. You're yeah. so close to that edge, it's not good. I better hurry up and cross the scale. Does this conveyor change direction? Fine, they're gonna do that. Hey, I, don't know, I don't know why it changed on me. Because it can, Rebel, because it can. I Dude, honestly, this run's been wild so uh, so far. Still been impressive. Oh god, I did, I, did, I did the wrong move there. So something about this game: uh, spin kick, spin dash, and anti grab, all on the same button. So if I do something, it's because I'm I just got like I like we've got spare buttons on a controller. Yeah. Why yes. button does nothing in this game? Uh, this game you uh, you can control the camera with the triggers though. I don't know why that's even a thing. Cool. And then we're going to jump off here. I'm going to try and click through this door here. It might not work. I'll go for it twice. So I'm just going to kill the robot. There you go. Ah, it's first time. So your angle and camera angle has to... Has to well your angle has to be right, but the way I line it up is with the camera. So if my camera is messed up, I would have just like allowed the trick and just killed the robot. It's just easier than trying to deal with like trying to go for it over and over and over again and failing it. So that's the Mark oh, Speed yeah. section. Mark wow. Speed. So this is Arg's favorite one, obviously. Oh yes. Remember that thing we said when you jump, you're committed. He can't move left and right right now. He's committed to that. Yep, I jumped. <laughs> if you angle yourself wrong, you're dead. Yep. Oh I well. I got you, don't worry about it. Ah, oh, Rebel! Here we go. Rebel! That was a really good jump, actually. <laughs> it was actually. I can't wait, okay, pardon me. Also, same thing as Crystal City here. Train blows up, debris hits you, fun things ensue. But the good thing about this one is it's actually really easy to keep a straight angle I'm because of uh, where all the rings, rings are placed. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run at the train, I'm going to explode, and that gets rid of all my rings so I can skip the S rank. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the background there. Yeah, they're in the background oh, just, there. Oh, look at this part. Eh. Yeah. Rings. As I just said, I skipped the S rank. Cool. So now this is Egg Genesis, I'm pretty sure. Egg Genesis? Yeah. Egg Genesis. Should be Genesis. Missile Man. Missile Man. Let's, yeah. see, let's see if we get Rock Launch. Oh, yeah. I'll try it like twice. Yeah, well, you've got like, what, four attempts? <laughs> twice. I'm going to do it once or twice, then if it doesn't work, then allow it. While you're preparing your attempts, do we have time for a couple of donations? Yep, go ahead. Okay, we have $5 from Yoni Leinonen going EU Honor. And another 5 from Pazzi saying, Hey, Rebel, this is fine, but when's Big Story, though? <laughs> and I can tell you, uh, that donation went towards uh, the language for Sekiro being French. So now that's a $29, trailing Japanese by 11 so it's still anybody's game, so get those donations in for your favorite language. Yeah, I got the wrong angle on that of Rock Launch. It's actually a really, really, really precise trick. So I'm just going to do the fight without it. You can skip the S rank if, um, if I'm going to do the fight without it, so you can pick up a few seconds over it. But it's, you, I'm still going to lose about 20-ish to that, but it's fine. It's a really, really precise trick that you basically get as many attempts as how many lives you want to risk to do it. And with how the end of this game is, I don't want to lose too many lives trying, trying to do it. Right, you're going down. So the hits I'm doing on the uh, robot's pimple on the bottom is two homing attacks into a bounce attack. Um, that's just the fastest uh, three hits that um, you can do on it. So if I did get the rock launch, what would have happened is I could have stood on his head, um, done my damage, uh, done two hits, delayed the third hit until he shot some rockets. Then you can get hit after doing the third hit, because the third hit knocks you back like this. 
If you get hit during it, you fall back down, so you can basically skip a phase by staying on his head. Do more damp damage to him. Now I'm just gonna wait for the phases. So if you fail rock launch, you just have to wait for the phases to go through. Oh, Klopp's giving you terrible fun in chat, by the way. Because we're in Europe, this is the Egg Mega Drive. It is, it is the Egg Mega Drive. <laughs> oh, and also now I'm just gonna, you know, not, not, not. Not do anything. But Rebel, the ship, it's crashing. It's crashing. No, what are you doing? Don't drink the water. Not like this, Rebel. Ruined. Ruin. Oh, look at that, he killed himself. <laughs> Your iframes last so long, they're, they're, they're even active during the uh, results Too screen. Easy. No sweat. Look at that, I skipped it by 60 points. Oh. <laughs> Just. Right, so next we get to go into Tropical Jungle, which is the second level where we're holding Elise. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. So I get to use the shield more, so we get to cut corners. Oh, skip the cutscene. Hold on, let, let, let me uh, just uh, put my hype away for at least there. Just, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, get the hype back out. Have you seen how tanned her legs are? <laughs> oh! <laughs> look, look, look at that! <laughs> Rebel. I don't want to let you down, but those are tights, mate. I know! <laughs> Stand by. Stand <laughs> by. What are they doing? <laughs> They're up to something. Oh, here oh, we go. No. Great, trouble is coming. Yep, so this is a tropical jung uh, jungle climb and talk. So there's an entire tree bit you meant to do here, but you can just like fall on the outside of it and hit, just hit the uh, booster there and just skip all of it. Oh, so I'm going to attempt my terrible elite impression. Oh my god. Yeah. Like you you, you, you if you jump when the bird is blowing, you may be able to jump higher. Right, so I'm going to grab these vines. Each vine has its own timing as to when you want to let go of it. Now that one there, I mistimed it, but luckily it didn't throw me off. So, we'll go around here. Alright, so in this bit I have to hold up left or you run into a wall. Then I have to not hold any... Don't move forward. So now if I fall down here, I die. Because, you know, death planes. Very soon she's going to scream. Yeah, she is, and you're gonna go, and you're gonna go for it, right? Oh yeah, I think I did take it. Let's see if it works. I've not done it in a while, though. I haven't played it since then. It's fine, don't worry about it. So it's about here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Cool. Use her. Help! That was it's pretty good. It's a bit late. Yeah, no, I wasn't doing it at the same time. So there's a one up. So I'm gonna charge anti grab now because I'm gonna try to clip out of this bit here. So one, two. There you go. I'm out, and there's a giant death plane to the right of me. So I wiggle to the left to go around it, and then I fall down here. Hey, look, there's a level. There you go. There's a level, and then I uh, and then I skip everything. So next we get to Goldeneye a bit in this game. So I'm gonna hold the camera down because this bit lags really, really badly. <laughs> Shall I give you a couple donations while this thing lags? Yes, yeah, fine. Okay, we start off with five dollars from Sea Bridge Drive, saying, "Which is more lethal, the Chaos Emeralds or the Infinity Stones?" You can answer that in a second, uh, well, because we have $20 from DFN saying, just because it's Polister, uwu yeet. <laughs> and that money went, that $20 went to uh, the language being in Japanese, so it's now $60 Japanese to $29 for French, $15 for English, so it's still... It's getting heated up here, and uh, I can't wait to see what the next few donations will do to this <laughs> to this uh, great clash of the languages. So keep <laughs> keep those donations coming, and please don't do what DFN just did. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I've got I've got to say though, like for twenty dollars, that uwu was poor. Can we get a better uwu from Polister for that? Like you, you gotta feel it. Like we, we, we're getting all the ayayas in chat here. You gotta, you gotta do them. You gotta do them justice for your uwu. Okay, Al allow me to uh, <laughs> swallow my pride here real quick. Channel the inner weeb. Uwu. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going back to Wave Ocean, going but back this time to Wave Ocean. we're tails. 
So now I get to more about Tails flying. So the way Tails' is flying works is uh, he has two kind of caps. He has a height cap and then a distance cap. So by getting to nearly at the top of the height cap, you can you can increase use the your distance. yeah you can increase the distance in the second cap by by letting go at the right time. Um, if you in but in this game, if you get capped by hitting the top, you fall like a rock. So Tails is actually kind of hard to control in a lot of situations. All right. Gonna fly over these enemies because I want to deal with them. Gonna hit the speed pads. Tails is also ridiculously slow while yep. running as well, so flying. you want to kind of be flying for most of the, the level. Yep, so I'm gonna fly up here. Fly over here. Because Tails is really slow, he's like slow as dirt. There he is, look how slow he is. So I'm gonna go up here. He's really fast on the grind rails though. I think everybody's fast on the grind rails. I mean, Amy's slower than. Oh my god! Oh, camera! Camera! That was the camera, that was the camera that was dude. The camera. I can't do tails. I'm not. I'm not gonna tails. Oh, I dude, I'm getting screwed by everything in this run. Uh, you're, you're, you're having a fun time. Yeah, it's very. Right. You've got enough lives. It's fine. Yeah, I've got more than enough lives to finish the run, so you know. Plus, then we've got all the fun stuff coming up. We got the gems. Somebody mentioned Infinity Stones and Chaos Emeralds. Nobody mentioned the 06 gems. The 06 even gems more are busted. stronger. They're stronger than them both. Alright, actually hit that this time. There we go, actually hit it that time. So after that. Nice, nice. Where am I going? There it is. Dude, I'm getting. <laughs> the camera just doesn't want to cooperate. Well, that me. was the heart that time. You got stuck in the corner of the heart, so. I'm gonna go over to this. There's like an invisible wall here that you can kind of slip past, and then you can get your speed cap thing. Oh. Gonna go up here. Get bodied. Deliberately get bodied. So I can jump off that and get some extra height. Right, so if the camera angle screws me and you can start going up, yeah, it would screw me if I was holding up there. Sometimes if you're holding up there, uh, you just tell you just run straight, straight, straight back up the wall. So he's got two speed boosters here, gonna do a height cap, then we do my distance cap. So by continuing to hold A, I can speed to the side. So next I get to wave ocean skip again. But I get to do it from a higher location this time, so it's a little bit easier. Two, three. One, two, three. And yeah. But this time we don't have to go over to see the whales. We can just hit the goal right here. Yeah. Right. It's fine, don't worry about it. Now we get to have fun. Well, Hopefully I don't lose seven seconds by kicking at the dude. I mean, you may kick at the dude. I mean, I'm tempted to just do it anyway, because it's hilarious. <laughs> Can I ruin your fun with a couple more donations? Yes, fun. Sure. Okay, $15 from Courting Water saying, I love loading screen simulator. When's the remaster? <laughs> and Whenever Sega gives us it. Like, I'll take it. Whenever they accept that they have to accept that this game actually exists. <laughs> hey, there we go. And we also have $9 from Matt Harris saying, could I resist making the Japanese donation dollar uh, total $69? No. No, I could not. <laughs> nice. Nice. And nice. indeed it is. It is currently $69. So, uh, I'm not biased, but uh, uh, French for the win. Uh, <laughs> but keep those donations coming. The, your generosity is incredible. Uh, thank you all. Back to you guys. So, uh, so I just bought the gems. Yeah, they're broken. I didn't get the oh. seven second time loss. Oh. 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 If you kick or jump anywhere near that guy, he'll dive to the side. Lose a bunch of time. <laughs> this is fine. Hold this on. This is fine. There we go. <laughs> this is the worst part of the game, in my opinion, are these stupid trials of Soliana. Yep, the trials of Soliana. They're so bad, because, like, I think the worst part about these not actually being the missions themselves is the fact they don't save between each mission. No. So if you game over on the last one, which is more than likely. The second to last one. Well, true, yeah. If you game over trying to pick Amy release, then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want to pick either, okay? Touching it just kicks start over. And far away in a flash. Seriously? <laughs> yep, so you can just kind of. Oh my god, please. Some, one, two, three. There you go. So you can kind of go to God where the end is. You, you can kind of go to where the end is and then just hit the spring. I had no idea that was a thing. I've always done the portals. Yeah, you And uh, I always get them wrong. Yeah, you beat the trial of intelligence by outsmarting the devs. <laughs> That's literally what you do. 
feels bad. That was incredible. Now, the next one's the hard one, though, because the next one's the test of strength. The, the trial oh, of courage. Whatever. Same thing. And uh, you have to basically kill all the robots with no rings. So if you get hit once, you die. There's annoying Gatling robots. There's annoying electric robots. There's invisible robots. And there's drone robots. So okay. have fun with that. Yep. However, you bought the red gem, right? I did. Oh, oh, dude, I did. I Oh, yeah, every yeah. time. Every time I use the red gem on one specific group of enemies yeah. so to the, make sure that they die. The gems here give you okay. uh, different power-ups and they're meant to be limited in nature, but the gauge doesn't work, so we just get to use them infinitely. Yeah, there's some debate on whether it's a curly bracket in the code or a misspelling. <laughs> Either way, it gives us unlimited power over these gems and the red one slows down time. So we're going to use it to slow down time on these robots just so they don't body us. Because here's a bunch of missile guys. And they're just evil. I actually died on them once because I just walked into the first one like an idiot. Nice. <laughs> I, just, I just held left and I was like, oh, I died. Oh, wait. That was me. Alright, so they got an annoying bunch of more missile guys so here. These guys, so this one you can kill with the red gem, but I let it spawn and just like go to it slowly so I don't get like actually bodied by it. Red Jeb! Those are the machine gun guys. No, those these, are machine gun guys. These guys are the bad ones. And those are machine gun guys, and they all suck. There you go. Nice. So, that, uh, if you die in that, you lose a minute from loading screens because it kicks you out of the mission, and then you lose whatever time you were into that hey. um, right. trial. See, uh, there you go. Chad's doing it right now. Hey. All right. All right. Hey. That was incredible. Can I take a moment for a donation? Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna we have, have ten dollars from Weeb FN going. Omae wa mo shindeiru. Nani? Nani? Weebs unite! <laughs> Weebs unite! <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Oh, also, please let me know when you have a big gap in your commentary. I might have something to fill that. Okay. Are you, you can Thank do it well, now well, if you on. want. No, no, well, no, 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 no. This is the most important part of the run. Dude. Oh, yeah, You're sorry, not sorry. away with this. Sorry, so I have this to... This is the test of love. Who uh, do you truly love, Rebel? I have to pick either Elise or Amy. They're both the wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, but, but, but... Sonica! I'm going to pick Amy because she's yes. her, because her portal's right there, so it's easier to get to. <laughs> <laughs> is Amy really the one? I don't know, because they're both the wrong you decision. You hit yes. Of course, you I, hit I yes. have to hit no, yes. you hit yes. That's I have it. to hit yes. Hey. No, the best would be... Hey. So, that, yeah, that's a nice two seconds. Uh. Yeah. And the most annoying thing that about all of this incredible. is we only had to do this trials because, for whatever reason, our buddy Tails forgot that he has the ability to fly and carry us up to the entrance of Kingdom Valley, and we summoned an eagle instead. Well, yep. <laughs> Too many chili dogs. Okay, I get it. Too many chili dogs. I get right? it. It's, it's fine. I understand. But yeah, so here's an eagle, and you're like, "Oh, this is cool. The eagle's taking us up to where Kingdom Valley is. This is sweet." And then as you get up there, Tails is already standing there. Like, what the hell, dude? You could have totally helped us and saved like 15 minutes. He would have saved all the time, bro. Right. So this is uh, this is the. Uh, worst Best stage, stage Best in the run stage. in terms of actually going fast. But the stage is such a banger. It's got a great soundtrack. It's a though, banging soundtrack. But it is the hardest stage in the oh, run. Yeah. yeah, it's very difficult, very precise. Lots of uh, cool skits that we're going to do as well. Right so I'm going to skip half the stage by going down here. Woo! Straight down. Nice homie attack. Please. And then I'm going to ride the water. That's when. Water. When. I'm going to take water now wind. to annoy you. We'll let chat decide. Is it war or is it wind? You shut up. Spin dash here. Right, so I'm going to grab the checkpoint and now I get the blue gem, which gives me a burst of speed. You would think a burst of speed would be useful, but it's harder to control than... And if you have the burst of speed active and you hit something, you don't. Yep. There you go. Avoided homing attack and everything there. If you homing attack backwards and round, you can avoid ho homing attack and stuff there and saving a bit of time. You can eagle. skip this eagle, actually, but it involves a very, very precise jump and then a very, very worth. precise homing attack. It's not worth. And you should only go for it if like, you want to get world record. Take the eagle. Take, Take the, eagle. the eagle. Every time. Right. Dude, I can't look right now. I, I, I'll I look in a minute. I don't want to look now. 
<laughs> so I'm not going to. Go on, take your gloves. Nope. So jumping straight from Eagle Bro here because we're using the edge of the castle walls to navigate our way through silver segment without actually being silver. This is ridiculously precise and Rebel's just making it look easy. Because when you fall off those platforms, there ain't no way back up. And again, you're meant to be silver here, using the telekinesis and psychic powers and all that, but Sonic's homing attack allows him to jump along. And because of this, there's currently two Sonics in the game. Hey, so Sonic bad. just spoke to Sonic and was like, yo, not bad, dude. Hey, not bad. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't disagree with that, actually. That's probably the best version of Amy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, quick wet man. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get smashed, dude. Uh, no comment. Yep. So, coming up now is the, uh, basically, around the spires yep. section. Like, loads of spires and, uh, and castle stuff here. Right. There's a bunch of clips I'm going to go for. They're all actually really, really precise. And if I fail them a couple Those times, I'm going to kill the enemy. Door clip. For some reason. So, these door clips are getting the correct angle at the door and then spin dashing through them. They become a lot easier in later levels as we're going to be using the Sky Gem to do them. Because that thing is broken. But right. as you can see, they can be really annoying with punishing at times. So we just kill the enemies after the boss spawned in. Yeah. Boulders! Boulders! There's another couple of things I can go for. It's worth going from a couple of times, but my camera angle was wrong there, so I couldn't get myself straight. Wow, that was a nice jump. Yeah. The camera's actually really hard to like control in this game in like tight corridors and stuff. Let's keep going up. So I kind of just gave up there on that one. Oh, the lag, dude. Well, you would have smashed the window, didn't you? Got my hit all them. Oh no, the enemies, whatever. Oh no, the doing. enemies. Oh, that's right, you just hold that. Yep. If you hold up left there, you can skip the last enemy, but I usually don't get it, so I just take right, the L. Don't, don't soft lock here, don't get stuck. <laughs> I'm not trip, I'm not gonna <laughs> mash camera during this. You can get weird cinematic camera angles here apparently, but I'm not even gonna try it because if Oh I... god no, you get stuck and that's it. Door clip, go! Aw. 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 Okay, I'm gonna kill Yeah, kill the enemies because they're firing their bombs at you now. So I'm, uh, I I picked up the green gem specifically in case I failed this so I can kill these enemies. Please, Sonic. Got oh, time wow. for a quick We're donation. I think there's yeah. one left. There is one left. There he is. Cool. And the game lags because it killed enemies. So hopefully this goes well because I waste a bunch of time killing enemies there. Careful not to fall off here. There you go. I usually die there quite a lot. Because you either have to do a really precise homing attack or ring dash. Both of which can kill you because the light, light speed attack, the light speed dash is not very reliable in this game. Are and the jump's very, very precise. Are they reliable in any game? I'm gonna spin dash down these. Then, we'll go around here. There's one more clip that I can go for here. I mistimed one of my spins, so I can do another one. So, I, by, by, by timing these right, I can keep increasing my uh, speed a little bit. Hope I get there. Nope, I'm not gonna try that one again. I think uh, that's a lot of That's fine. Coming up to the max speed section. Yep, so max speed. I think we'll, we'll hand it over to Paul, sir, as he has something yeah. he wants to say. You really have something? Is this the big gap? Go yeah, ahead. Go, go ahead. It's just okay, the so uh, let's start it off. $5 by D O F N. <laughs> Red gem slows time. Dio? Zawardo! <laughs> okay, that's one. Uh, and now for the second one, I have invited five of my best friends who are going to help me read this $20 donation by Big the Dave. Uh, they'll go first. So here is, uh, in order, Ross, <laughs> DFN, Cording Water, Big the Dave, Popeter, and finally myself. So whenever you're ready, take it away. What have we done? <laughs> oh. Oh, what? And one last one from me, the special one. Oh, whoa. 
<laughs> Thank you very much for your I, donations I and uh, keep them coming. Um, I'm pretty sure they ubooed everyone out at that it. point. Yeah. They, they I, I apologize deeply for this. Uh, as an update to the uh, language incentive, $69 for Japanese, 49 for French. That's $20 off, so it's a heated race here. $15 for English and everything else is at zero, so <laughs> please uh, keep those donations coming. And I hope I don't ever have to do that ever again. Back to you guys. <laughs> All right, so that was a really, really slow uh, Kingdom Valley, but I didn't die, so, you know, I, I can live with that. Profit. Profit. I failed with Eclipse, but you know what? I didn't die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. I'll take not dying over getting the clips. <laughs> uh, any day, any day, every time. So now we're going to head for the aquatic base, but what we're going to do first is we're going to pick up the Sky Gem. Yep. Which is absolutely overpowered, because what you do is you take the Sky Gem and you literally eat it into the distance. Um, once it lands, you homing attack right to it. Uh, but it goes at such an insane speed that you pretty much ignore any level geometry that's there, and you go through walls. So we're going to be taking super advantage of that after we've rung the bell and then grab the gems and heading into aquatic base. Which again, very chill tune. Very good tune as well. Yep. So three bells that we gotta go right here. Rebel knows where they are and knows the best route to do them all. Dong. And I'm gonna try to use the blue gem a little bit to try and speed it up, but you bonk on anything and there's people walking around randomly. Stop so. bonking on people. We've told you this. <laughs> it's so hard to control the blue gem. Oh yeah. The blue gem, you go forward and there's not much you can do about it if... Uh, your turning is weird. Oh god. Cool. And I'll buy the Sky Gem from my hey. dude. I don't All know his right. name. Right. And right. then the last one. I'm gonna try to do this. Oh, okay. So he's gonna time out where he hits the thing and then gets launched right to where hidden base is. Aquatic base, even. Hidden yep. aquatic base. I did a really good one the other day where like I landed Inside. where you no know, no basically I went through the ring at oh, the bottom cool. yeah and I hit the f and I hit the bell in the last frame before I got flung away sweet because I flew I flung I flung it too low accidentally so aquatic base here is probably the most busted level of the entire game you've yep. seen us um, skip different character sections you've seen us um, go through walls with spin dashes this basically takes all of them and uh, hits pink lasers. But it will allow us to do all of them in this one stage. So it's meant to be a few tail sections, it's meant to be a few knuckles sections. Most of them you're not going to see. Yeah. I skip tails in this because tails are really slow. Cool. The reason why I do bounce bracelet attacks on the big robots is because you can homing attack into bounce bracelet in, homing attack and chain them together. Nice, nice bomb. Dong. I'm gonna hit that guy, go one, two, three. Yes. And there we go. So I get to do a nice little trick here, so I'm gonna jump by that wall, go out of bounds. Nice. And then I'm gonna fling the sky gem over here. Oh! That did not go where you wanted. Luckily, I reacted to that in time. Yeah, so back out of the room, because we need to go back out of bounds again. Again, basically the way the Sky Gem's working here is you're just throwing it into a corner pretty much onto the seam, and then it allows you to go. Woohoo! Now I'm through. in shadow section of the level now. We don't speak of that name. Through. And I'm going to go back to Sonic section now. Uh, you're kind of stuck there, bro. I'm fine, don't there worry about we it. Go. You just have to like be able to jump. That happens sometimes. Oh yeah, there's a checkpoint and then the end is right there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that shadow section. Then I went into Tails' uh, section by clipping out of shadows. <laughs> and then I skipped all of it by cutting like half a level in, in Sky Gem. Half. Sky Gem. Sky Gem. It's busted. And that's not even the half of it because it's yep. busted on the next boss as well. Oh, bam, bam, really? Bam, bam, I missed my... Bam, 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 I'm getting hit is actually sometimes you, uh, useful here because you can actually abuse the uh, eye frames. Cool, I switched to Sky Gem here so I can use it in this room. Make sure I land on this. And then big launch, because who needs platforming when you've got a Sky Gem? No, it does. Street Boys! Was that you creating Street Boys or reacting to Street Boys? I, d I, d I did it. Alright, okay. That was just a random Street Boys. Shutdown system activated. 
Nice speed. I reacted to getting hit there quite well. It's like the only use of the blue gem as well, is getting through the uh, lockdown sections before they actually lock you down. Please, let me go through there. Thank you. Now I get to play as Knuckles. I'll go on ahead. Oh, that was not too bad, actually. Oh, that's dodgy. Knuckles, please, get off the wall. Thank you. Thank you, my dude. My timings into his glide are pretty abysmal, right? Power dash. Straight off the bank. So now I'm going to go... Go over here. That was a really bad knuckle section, but... Uh, please, Sonic. The bounce bracelet a few times, so I go over the bar. Right now I get hit by this enemy. Gonna... Oh god. Oh, there you go. So there's two ways you can do that. You can either use the sky jump to go up the side or do what I did there. Oi, 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 kill the robot and go through. But... Sonic, please. Yep. That's what happens if uh, you get stuck in a wall. You just have to wait until the sky jump an animation ends and then you can. Uh... I'm gonna bonk in the wall. Yeah. So now we gotta blow it up the glass. Oh. And I'm gonna have to blow the glass again. Usually, once you get hit by one, this is kind of it. Yeah, this is. Now I'm gonna get stuck on the wall for a second. But it's really frustrating when you go through this one, unfortunately. I'm just gonna take the time off and just kind of go through it. I mean, it makes you wonder though, like, area shutdown commencing. Why is it glass? I know, right? It should be like metal or something, right? Oh no, right? a glass wall. I oh, can't no. get through it. Oh no. End of level. Yep. So if I remember right, next boss is Wyvern, right? Next boss is the Wyvern. The Wyvern. So oh, time is coming up very soon yep, as well. Yep, time's very soon. And before you ask, no, I'm not doing Cyclo Wyvern. Which what? is the fastest version. Oh, heck no. It's the baby strats. Dude. Do baby strats. Man. I do medium baby strats. No, I, I, yeah. Well, fair enough. I don't know big boy strats. <laughs> Baby strats. Baby strats. Yeah, this is like big boy, not like big man. Yeah. Street boys. Street boys. I love the fact I'm hearing shouting in the back as well. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Oh, heck yeah. They've actually got street boys now. That's great. So Egg Wyvern here, uh, we're going to wait for him to do his first attack cycle. Uh, what we're really waiting for is for him to charge us. And then Rebel's going to do a really fancy thing with the Sky Gem, where he's going to lob the Sky Gem as he grabs onto the horn. And then this happens. And... Time. <laughs> Noise. 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 So basically what happens there is you you um, throw the Sky Gem as uh, you home attack onto him, then the Sky Gem fling, uh, flings you back to the stage, and basically because he's in a state where he needs to get hit, he flies until he hits the kill plane and dies. But So that's 06. Uh, I know we're kind incredible. of sparse for time, so if you want to cut me off now, that's fine. Sweet.